right, this is the instructions for the five foot obelisk with three rails. So you're going to get your box and inside you're going to have a bunch of pieces. Uh, should have four posts. Bottom of the post will be with the white dowel. And then you should have 12 rails. So we recommend taking the rails and putting them into their component sizes. So four long, four medium, four short rails, and you'll have a bag of screws and nails, and then you'll have four vertical sidebars, a top plate, and a sphere, or a spike, depending on which one you ordered. So the assembly procedure, basically, Take one of your posts, find one with the white dowel, you're taking one of your rails, white dowel, you line the white dowel on the post to the white dowel on the rail, and you push on firmly. If you find there's resistance, you can use a hammer, then you take the second size rail, same procedure, push on, third size push on and you take a second post now this is important white dowel white sticker make sure the black dowels all face in the same direction so for instance this one has a white dowel but when you align it to it the black dowels are on opposite sides so what you want is the post that has the white dowel and then the black dowel is facing in the same direction as the one below it. So align, tap on. And there's one side. If you find there's some resistance or there's too much, too much of a gap, take a wood block and give it a good tap. It won't break anything. So now you have one side assembled it off to the side. Now you're going to assemble your second side, same procedure. Post, white dowel, long rail, white sticker, align, push on. Firmly, second size, third size. Always take into consideration the uh, angle cut on the pieces. Okay, so it goes long to short, and that follows the angle of the obelisk. Second post, same thing. White dowel, white sticker. Black dowels all face in the same direction. Align. Push on. Give a good tap. You've got your second side. So now we're going to assemble the two sides. So it doesn't matter which one you start with. So now it's basically the same procedure. Take the remaining rails. Longest. Medium. Short. Take your second side. So here what you want to do, you want to start in just one of the... Uh, corners, lower corners, tap it on so it's kind of free floating and then you're going to line just one of the sides first, dowels to the holes, tap in, now your second side is loose, same procedure, line the bottom first, tap it in a little bit, align the remaining dowels to the holes, hit on, tap on, there again if there's resistance, Take a block and give it a good hit. Okay, so now you have an assembled obelisk. Now we're going to put on the top. So the, for the top, you need the top plate and the sphere. If you ordered one with the spike, the spike will go directly on. In this case, you have to assemble the sphere and the, and the top plate. So all you're doing with that is getting the screw for the uh, screw pack. 
That will be the green screw, or should have a color usually. And then you're going to take the Robertson bit, the square bit. Either put it in a multi-bit screwdriver, which is a bit slower and more, uh, more work, or put it into a drill. Okay, start the screw on the bottom of the top plate. Once it protrudes a bit on the top side, the finished side, take your sphere, just screw it on a little bit so it's flush with the top plate and then finish screwing it in. So now you have a assembled top plate. So now the top plate has been assembled to the obelisk. So all you're doing here is aligning the four holes on the top with the four dowels. Sometimes you'll have to squeeze the post a bit to align it, and then you kind of wiggle it on. Okay, ideally you have a solid flat surface that simplifies things. If you find that the top posts are not aligned, okay, there's a lot of differential in heights, all you do, take the top plate, start in a couple of holes, push down and wiggle it. If there's a gap on one of the posts, you push the pressure on the gap on the post downwards. So there we go. So now the plate and sphere are assembled. So what we're going to do now is put in the screws. So there's eight stainless steel screws. The screws go into the pre-drilled holes. Ideally, this is why you want to do the white dowel to the white sticker. The holes will be perpendicular to each other as opposed to offset. So all you're doing now is taking your screws and putting them in eight times. Don't use the screw to try to pull everything together. Try to keep it tight and then put the screw in. It will pull it in a bit, but that's not the purpose of the screw. The screw is there to lock the obelisk together. So and then you install the eight screws. Now you're going to put the sidebars on. So for sidebars, all you're doing here is centering on the rails the sidebar and installing the nails. So try to eye center it. If one of the sidebars is a bit bent, not a big deal. Start with the first one, center the second one, hammer it in, and then the third one you should be able to bend it a little bit to get it back centered. So now the third one is hammered in. So now you're going to do that to the remaining sidebars. So then you'll have four of those sidebars. Make sure the point is up. And there is your assembled obelisk. Cedar will be good for uh, 15 to 30 years. So you should get a long life out of them. Uh, so there you go. Top plate. You have the spike one. Same thing. Align. Push on if you need to. You can always use a hammer with a block to try to straighten it out a little bit. So there you go. If you got any questions, contact me. Uh, email me woodbrute at live.ca. Thank you.